Adjusterpedia.com. Hey guys, this is Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. What I want to show you today is how to add the ceiling in for a skylight, and that way you can account for the extra drywall footage. Um, so we're going to do the basic of all basics and we're gonna throw a square one in the middle of a square room because that'll be the simplest and then I'll show you how to go from there to uh, to make adjustments if it's off to the side if it's a 4 by 2 or whatever it happens to be so we'll start off with a square room 12 by 12 let's just say our skylight is just a 3 by 3 square um, just for keeping things super simple so we know we have 12 foot across we have 3 foot of that is going to be uh, the skylight so that leaves us 9 feet so what we need to do is make a uh, the starting of the skylight four and a half foot in, and that should put a dead center in the middle of the room. Four and a half plus four and a half is nine, plus the three for the skylight is 12. So what we're going to do is put a tray ceiling in. So we'll drop into the properties, go down to tray ceiling, and you can see the ceiling height. We can leave it the same, whatever. The distance to the opening, like I said, will make it 4.5 feet, or four foot six inches. The recess itself will be uh, zero, and the tray height, let's just say it's a two foot you know, up to the to the roof from the ceiling, just as an idea. So that is, uh, I'll just call this bedroom or whatever. Okay, so there we go. Now if I put this into 3D mode, I'm going to push the 3 key, put into 3D mode, and you can see it's uh, got the, uh, the, the depth and the allocation for that. And in case you don't know, use the shift and the C key, sorry. And that's going to show you the ceilings. If you're not seeing your ceiling, it's because you don't have that view on. So it's Shift and C for ceiling. So there you go. Uh, and that's really it as far as the idea behind it. So let's just say it's not in the dead center of the room. And uh, we, want to, we want to be able to put the square inside of a 20-foot long room by 12-foot wide. Well, what we cannot do is grab the handle and just make it 20-foot long because... As you probably guessed by now, it's just going to make the tray ceiling way longer. So I'm going to control Z, put it back the way it was, and I'll show you possible solutions that will work. One, we can delete the wall. Like so uh, that was just highlighting and hit the delete key. And then uh, I could throw a room on the end. So I'll just hit the room key. We'll just drop it in place. I'll just pull this one back in to whatever we wanted. Let's just make it 20 foot, whatever. Who cares? Um, and then all I have to do is go into the properties and change this to be a subgroup of the bedroom. And now they belong to the same ceiling. So if I hit the 3, go to 3D, you can see it still looks good. And that stayed in the same place, which is perfect. That's one option. I'll go Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, get it back the way it was. Um, another option would be to delete this end off and use the wall key. Uh, wall button and uh, that's just in case it does something crazy like you know it does this a little bit of this more common you know uh, and we just do something like that there we go and I'll just straighten this up by pulling this up just a touch there we go so there you go so that's another option and once again I have to go in and change the properties to make it subgroup of the bedroom okay so another option might be let's say it's not a square Let's just say it's a rectangle-shaped skylight. Um, so let's just get rid of this completely. And what we'll do is we'll put a new room in, RK for room. This is 12 by 12. What you have to do is get the shape right before you add on to the room. So if we're going to want a rectangle, let's make a rectangle room. And we'll make this 8 foot wide by 10 foot long. And what that'll do is if we put it three feet from the um, wall, it should put it dead center. So all we need to do here is make this a tray ceiling. And we're going to go three feet from the wall, zero amount of recess, and we'll just call it two feet deep or whatever you want it to be. And now as you can see, it's dead center. I'm going to hit the three for the 3D, and you can see. Okay, so now it's perfectly in the center. And then once again, it's not a big deal if the room was a different size. Let's say it was you know, let's say it is a 12 by 12, but you wanted it three foot from these two walls. Well, simple. We just, again, we can delete these two. And then we can just, you know, many ways throw a room on there. 
and then drop this back down to the right size, do the same over here if we wanted, just to make this right. Delete that, and then just fill, it, fill in the blanks. By simply throwing, say, another R for a room here, we can do is that. And what you can see is this thing will adapt for you. So let's just say I wanted to put it here and do this. I can drag this in however I want to do this. It works really well to get to what you wanted. I hit three for 3D, you can kind of see. Now the only other thing is I would need to go in here as always and change these to be a subgroup of room one in this case. So there you go, and I would do the same to the other. Now there are certain limitations. It has to be, using this method, it has to be the same distance from the wall, say three feet here and three feet from this wall. Anything you do differently, like if I pull this in, it just makes the, the opening smaller. Um, and that's no good. Control Z puts it back. But at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal. If it's, say, this is a, truly a two foot distance and this is three, what we're really looking for is the footage, whether it's directly where it is or it's a foot or two off in one direction or the other, doesn't matter as long as you have the right actual size for the, the window itself. Now, there's one more thing you really need to account for is you know that the drywall is not on the top where the window is, the actual skylight. So, you need to subtract from that in your final drywall calculations. So let's just say you were using the C for the ceiling to calculate all of the drywall throughout. Then you could just subtract this two by four. So you could say C minus two times four or C minus eight. And that would give you the accurate calculations for the ceiling. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like it for me and subscribe to our channel to see more Xactimate tutorials. Leave a comment or drop me an email if you want to request a special topic related to adjusting or Xactimate.